You're welcome to this channel. I am the complex analyzer, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Fourier series. Okay, Fourier series. You can consider subscribing to this channel if you are joining us for the first time, and turn on notifications as well. All right. Now, let's talk about Fourier series. In months, we have different type of series. Okay, talking about the Maclaurin series, the Taylor series, the binomial series, also. So here we are talking about the Fourier series. Now this is it. A Fourier series helps us to express a periodic function as an infinite trigonometrical series in cosine and sine terms. Okay? So here it is all about what? Periodic functions for Fourier series. Now, what is a periodic function? We shall begin the study of Fourier series by talking about periodic functions. Okay? So let's start with periodic functions. So this is it. A function is said to be periodic if the function values repeat itself at regular intervals. The regular intervals between repetition is called the period of the oscillation. So when we talk about periodic functions, we talk about what? Period. I said period is the regular intervals between repetition. Now, let's talk about period in details. Look at it. Let's consider the sine graph y equals sine x. The graph of y equals sine x. Okay. Let me try to sketch the waveform. All right. This is the origin zero zero. The y axis. And the x axis. So the sine graph is like this. And so on. Alright? This might not be a perfect diagram, okay? Zero we have pi. We have two pi. Now look at the sine graph. This is the waveform. The waveform started from here. Okay? This is the pattern. At this point again. 2 pi is started again. This same format is seen here. So we can see that when the waveform got to this point, it started again. You get the point. So the period of sine x is actually 2 pi. This is it. The period of a function is the smallest value of t for which f of x plus t is equal to f of x. This must be noted. Alright? T here is called the period of the function or the oscillation. T is the period. Now, I have just shown you diagrammatically that 2 pi is the period of sine x. I want to show you using the trigonometric identity. I want to prove this now for sine x. Okay? f of x is equal to what sine x? So we said that the period is 2 pi. It means that f of x plus 2 pi, which is equal to sine x plus 2 pi, is equal to what? Sine x. This is what the um, principle is saying. Sine x plus 2 pi is equal to sine x because 2 pi is the period of the function. So let us show this. I want to show you. Sine x plus 2 pi, sine x plus 2 pi. Is actually the sine of a sum. And in trigonometry, the sine of a sum, sine A plus B, is equal to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Alright, this is it. Sine A, A here is x, B here is 2 pi. So this is sine x cos 2 pi. I'm sorry for sine x plus 2 pi now. Alright, sine x cos 2 pi plus cos x sine 2 pi. Okay, so cos 2 pi, which is cos 360 degrees, is actually equal to 1. Okay, cos 360 is equal to 1. So 1 times sine x is sine x. Sine 2 pi is 0. 0 times cos x is 0. So you can see that. Sine x plus 2 pi 
is equal to what? Sin x. This shows that 2 pi is the period of the function. We discovered that here earlier, okay, using the, the sine graph. So this is what period is, all right? Period, the regular intervals between repetition of a periodic function. I want to show you something now. Now, we consider the sine graph. Let's consider this function. Y equal to A sine and x the amplitude okay and n which is the coefficient of x period actually has a formula okay so period is this 360 degrees all over the coefficient of n here we take it as the absolute value of n all right 360 degrees is equivalent to 2 pi so we can say 2 pi divided by the modulus of n. This is the formula for period. All right. Now, A here is the amplitude of the function. Amplitude is the maximum displacement of the wave particle from its rest position. So for a periodic function, it is the maximum displacement of that periodic function from rest. So this is the rest position. And this is the maximum displacement. This is where it is attained. So from here to here gives us the amplitude of this function. All right? Amplitude actually tells us how tall a periodic function is. So this is the amplitude A. All right? Now, if I have a function like this, y equal to 3 sine 2x. The amplitude of this function is equal to 3. Okay? And the period is the period is 2 pi or 360 degrees, depends. 2 pi divided by n here is what? 2, which is actually the absolute value of 2. And the actual value of 2 is 2. So 2 will take away 2. What is the period of the function? Pi. Okay. What if I have a function that says y equal to 4 sine 2x upon 3? What is the amplitude of this function and what is the period? The amplitude is obvious. Is equal to what? 4. And the period, the period of this function will be 2 pi. Now, take note. If we are using 2 pi over the absolute value of n, it means that the period will be in radians. And if we are using 360 degrees over the absolute value of n, it means that the period is in degrees. So here I'm making use of radians. So the period will be 2 pi divided by 2 over 3, which is the um, value of n here. The absolute value of 2 over 3 is still 2 over 3. All right, as two upon three. So what would this be? This is actually equal to the three will go up three times two pi all over two, and this is equivalent to what three pi. So the period of this particular function is three pi in radians, and the amplitude is what four. Now we can also extend this to determine the amplitude and period of a cosine function. Okay, so if I have a function. Let's say y equal to 5 cos 4x. All right? The amplitude is equal to 5. And the period of this function is 2 pi all over 4. The absolute value of 4 is still 4. Take note. So, 2 here is 1, 2 here is 2, and this is equivalent to pi all over 2. So this is how to determine the amplitude and the period of a periodic function. Alright? So I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep supporting by subscribing to this channel, like the video, and share it to your friends and to your classmates. I am the Complex Analyzer. I will see you in the next video.